Yeah, I was up at Hairmire. I came back from Hairmire because I was up there with my son. And he had done up his house and I went to his see his house. I decided to take him around and around to see his house. And I went to go in and went up the stair to go into his garden. And the step was a bit high and I stumbled. And he tried to grab a hold of me. Instead of that, he fell on top of me and finished up and broke my hip. <laughs> so, so I was in the hospital with a broken hip then. And then when I came out, I had another fall. And it was, it was actually, it was my knee and that. It was actually worse than the break itself. The pain and the discomfort and the immobile completely the second time. And they got through that as well. When Jean helped me. Best move I ever made coming here. When I came here, 12 years ago, my wife had the Parkinson's and we came here and that two years that was she lived was the best two years of her life. It was great because I had I dressed her and, uh, and people would say, she, oh, that's a nice cardigan, you know, because I took it and said, that's my, me had done that, you know, and, uh, and it was great and uh, but it's the best move I ever made was coming here. And the people are all. The only thing I've got trouble with is links. You know that after shave. Oh, right, hi. Uh, I, I find that when you use that, all the women run mad. Here, it's all the zimmers. All the women come running up the street with zimmers when I use it. So I've had to stop using it. John's been in the complex for about 12 years. Um, and he's always been a very independent man. Um, and following his fall, obviously, John was a bit concerned about being able to maintain his independence within the house. And one of the things our person was able to do was get a push button fitted to his house because John's mobility was restricted following his fall. Uh, and this enabled him to, uh, to get in contact with myself or the emergency services. It's very important um, to have, I think, the communication being there, um, the multidisciplinary teams um, meetings to discuss that patient. It's patient-centred care. It's all about that patient. Um, for keeping him independent in his home and having the support of like the carers and um, the sheltered housing staff. Social work is very important. Um, we can go to meetings, we can discuss the patient um, for help that they need, as I say, to remain independent in their homes. Well, my role as a home carer is to go into John first thing in the morning. I'm usually his first uh, visitor that he gets in the morning, so my main concern is to make sure that John's health is okay, that is paramount. Uh, that's the first checks we would do as we go in. Uh, after that, we'd make sure he's got his uh, medication, uh, make sure he gets the proper medication, and then make him his breakfast. Generally have a chat to him and just make sure that he's okay and I feel he's okay. You know, whether they're individually, you know, but it all comes together. To me, one goes away and the other one comes in and vice versa. And there's always somebody there to look after us. And look after us, they do, you know. Oh, it's essential that we've got a good working relationship together, all the agencies that go into them. Um, and also, I think, when, as people get older and more frailer, um, they're unsure, they maybe require a wee bit more help, but they don't know how to go about applying for such help. And one of my, one of my roles is uh, to sometimes make referrals on the tenants' behalf and their families, because a lot of the families, um, as their parent gets a bit older, needs a bit more support, they don't really know how to start the ball rolling about getting such services. And it's great that we, and we have actually got a good working relationship with healthcare, with social work uh, and housing linked up together that we can enable tenants to stay in their own independent dwellings um, and carry on their independent living yeah. with a wee bit extra help. The integrated team is an excellent um, it started off as a pilot, it's been launched, it works. It's all about the patient and everybody working together for the patient and the patient can only benefit from that. We have a, what we call a care diary. Uh, I would record my findings in that uh, care diary in the morning and if Jean had to come in or Kate had to come in, they just look at the care diary and they can see the findings from what's actually been on that morning or whether there's been any changes in John's conditions. Overall, the ICST has been a success but there are some things that could be improved upon um, which would 
benefit the, the health and social care integration in the future. Um, for example, the health component of the team is all co-located, but the home care component is, is located separately and it would be useful to have the, all the team members co-located in the one building. We've also learned that the, the different health professionals and home care have slightly different ways of working and that the team members have had to learn to adapt to different ways of working. Uh, and there's still further progress to be made with the integration between the health component of the team and the, the, the home care component. What I would say is I think that the spirit of cooperation and partnership has been here for a long time from the point of view of both health and social work, other services within the council and other partners, including our partners who are carers and people use services. So that's well established within South Lanarkshire. There have always been good stories, there will be good stories in the future and more often than not I think we get it right. Sometimes we don't get it right and that's the problem. And we need to build a confidence that by changing the way in which we actually work together, that collaboration becoming more formalised, that we take staff with us, there isn't a threat to them, that we need to build their confidence to know that the future will be positive, uh, that there are things that we can design, redesign and uh, put in place that will get the best use of their time, their expertise and their professionalism. I'd like to think I've seen John coming on leaps and bounds for when I first went in to see him. Uh, John's a kind of proud man uh, and he's not the type of guy it takes to people coming in for care to look after and he likes to look after himself. But with our team it's all about supporting his independence. So we go in there and we su support his independence as much as we possibly can. Let him do as much as he possibly can himself and that makes him feel a, a good part of the community himself and he's managing himself. So that gives us great satisfaction to see coming from down where he's been down and he's back up to where he should be again and managing to look after himself to I would say at least 85-90%. I must honestly be, be quite honest that the table I've had has been immense and I've never met a worker, I've asked them all and they all, every one of them said they liked their job and they proved it because they've been great, they're a gift of God for the older people.